absolutely no idea where I am. I love Indonesia. I've been to my most populated island. I've been to my most beautiful place. I've done surfing trips with my mates. Basically, I've been all around Indonesia. But with all these trips, they've all been pre-planned. Nothing truly spontaneous. Nothing truly crazy. Until now. I wanted to do something big. Now, I wanted to show my friends where I'd be going. So I invited them round and we threw a felt tip pen at a map. So wherever this marker lands, I'm gonna fly to straight off, straight off to this. Three, two, one. Oh! Okay, we are flying to Gorontalo. I'd say I've heard of it, but. Gorontalo is a province between North and Central Sulawesi. It has very little tourism, it's extremely hard to find, and to be honest with you, I know nothing about it. But I guess that's what this video is all about. So I got a flight from Bali to Surabaya, Surabaya to Makassar, and then Makassar to Gorontalo. It was about 12 hours of flying, but then we arrived. Upon arriving to Gorontalo, I was surprised by how modern the airport looked, considering it was in the middle of nowhere. Really clean airport, really modern. So in the taxi on the way to the city, I had a Google of the top five things to do in Gorontalo. So we'll stop off with the oldest recommendation on the list, which is a 16th century fort overlooking the city. But after a day of traveling, I started getting hungry and wanted to learn about the local cuisine. Oh. I call that La Pasa Cali. <laughs> I call, I fly from Bali today. Oh, yeah. Oh, from Bali? Yeah, from Bali, long way. Uh, Ila Bulo. So after posing for pictures and learning about the local food, I got hungry, so I treated myself to an ice cream. Lima Rebu, mahal. What? That's easy. There you go. Makasi yeah. pack. Okay. Bye bye. Hey, my photo, my photo, my photo. So after posing for pictures again, we went into the first fort. Benteng Otanaha. Let's go inside and have a look. I can just imagine in the past, people would be fighting in here potentially as well. People would be sat around the sides. It's like a mini coliseum. So there are three forts here, and I was surprised to see that none of them had a roof or shelter. Here we've got the highest fortress, and we found some shelter. There's probably some cows up here because there's some cow, cow footprints. So you can see another little fortress down there. And it's so well preserved, which is so unique compared to other places, other historical places that I've visited around the world. Jesus, what a fortress. It's like three, three, four meters high. Man, what a place to live. What a place to hide. Oh, look at the entrance. It's like a, looks like a cave. Wow. And then as we entered the fort, Ellie started panicking. What? What? I don't know. What is it? Like a little... He's huge! He's jumping. It turns out we met the guard of your official fortress, but then got scared and ran away. This millipede wasn't the only surprising thing we saw in the fort. We saw some things that actually belonged to the sea. How on earth did we manage to get coral all the way up here? And pieces of coral here. Coral. And also, the longer I think about it, this fortress kind of looks like a like a one giant bathtub. Yeah, guys, it reminds me of a time when my friend, she used to sing in the shower and she used to imagine herself at a concert in front of hundreds of people and she used to sing in the shower, but then she would forget to pay her water bill. Yeah. So actually, the person whose story it was is actually Ellie, who's behind the camera. Yeah, bener banget. Waktu itu aku lagi mandi, terus nyanyi nyanyi nih kasihkan. Saking asiknya aku lupa kalau air aku belum dibayar Tapi untung aja aku bawa HP ke kamar mandi Jadi tinggal uh, buka aplikasi dana di HP aku Terus masukin nomor PDAM aku Udah tinggal bayar pakai dana gampang banget Eli, this is your stage now You can finally be a concert singer In front of all these hundreds of people here at a fortress watching you sing. So after the fortress, I headed down to the main city to grab some food. I managed to find a warong selling Ila Bolo on the side of a road. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Ila Bolo. Ila Bolo, Ada? This is a recommendation from the lady earlier at the fort. Sama Ila, apa? Ila Bolo. Ila Bolo. The food is uh, wrapping by uh, banana leaf. Guys, so this is the cooked Ila Bolo. It comes in like a banana leaf, down pisang. Yeah. Made from coconut milk, chicken and sago flour, Ila Bolo is wrapped in banana leaves and cooked over burning coconuts. Di dalamnya apa aja? Ada si telur dengan ayam. To be honest, I don't even know why I started rubbing my stomach. Aku mau beli dua. Satu di sini, satu untuk bungkus. They've even tattooed the name of a dish over there. Ila Bolo. 
That's how famous the dish is here. Mate. All right, guys, first I'm trying Ila Bolo. So first impression, it's got it's wrapped in a banana leaf. Oh, it's got a really strong smell to it. And this is what it looks like inside. It's almost like lemper. Just like a pancake. Like a, oh, spicy. It's like a spicy pancake, which is shaped like a sausage. Gooey. Any upper, any put, uh, putty upper. You do? Yeah. Telur. Oh, telur. Yeah. Telur de Delamania. Okay. Yeah, it tastes like. Then apa, dagging your apa. I am. I am. The chicken the gizzard. Gizzard. Oh, uh, meat and skin. Oh, meat and skin. Yeah. Okay, cool it. I am. So you ma you mix it, champo. Yeah. Surprise, there's egg inside, but it combines perfectly, and it's actually a delicious. I would say this is like a snack. I'm gonna take one back to a hotel now. I'm gonna have an early night before we go and see the world sharks tomorrow. Ho hopefully. Yeah. Guys, it's not even 5 o'clock in the morning and we've decided to go whale sharks based on a re recommendation from, from yesterday. Whale sharks. Oh, whale sharks, yeah. like Ikan. Yeah. 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 Oh. We've got ourselves a little bike for the journey. Ayo. Park our bike at a random, a random house. Can we see Biza Sato? Biza, is it upper? It's, it's five a.m. now. Can you be a bit quiet, please. I'm trying to make a video. Hello. Do you reckon you want some? Oh my God! What's... He just pooped. Pack Sandy has signs saying this is an official place to go and see the whale sharks. Ellie even saw a chart showing how many sharks have been recorded here. Yesterday is four. Yeah. Hopefully today five. Five whale sharks. Guys, you can actually see where the whales have traveled to. So they've put a tracker inside the wing of a whale shark. And like, this is where it's got, it's pretty crazy. And then this is apparently the route where they've traveled. They've traveled all the way here, all the way back. That is absolutely nuts. And also, as Ellie was saying earlier, what they would do is they would track how many whale sharks would arrive here each day. So as the sun was coming up, it was time to get on a boat, and so we switched over to my phone. Guys, this is literally the smallest boat I've ever been on in my life. Yes, good job. Man, <laughs> stop. It literally drops down to about 30 meters. Oh my God, guys, here we are. They are huge. They're absolutely massive. Look at these beautiful creatures. Hati hati. <laughs> oh, this is taking off a roof for us. And now we've got a great view. We're the only boat here with a roof off. And now you can really appreciate how thin this boat actually is and what a, what a, what a hazard it is. You definitely wouldn't be able to find boats like this in, over in the UK or anywhere. Pack, yeah. visa photo? Okay, okay. Three, tiga, dua, satu. Oh, okay. Loa biasa. Loa biasa. Like I see. So now I just need to edit the photo. <laughs> oh, no way. Bagus. Yeah, bagus. Tapi aku tidak visa edit. I can't edit it because I'm not subscribed to the app. Well, good thing I've got Dana on my phone, so, so I can subscribe to the app easily and now make the pictures pop using the pro feature. Thank you very much, Dana. Now I can soak up all the beauty of this area and enjoy my time with the whale sharks. Fantastic. I want my whale's name Jamal. Jamal. Guys, that's one way to call whale sharks. You just start singing. Jangan pergi. Oh, he's going to attack my foot. Jesus! Whoa! Jagan Perky, Jagan Perky, Jagan Perky, Jagan Perky. When you're in the water with them, you just, it just shows how, how vulnerable you are to 
to, to nature and to, and to whatever is out there. And as I was leaving the water, I met Camilla from Chile, the first foreigner I'd seen. Do you have any advice or tips on any place we should visit here in, here in the city or in the area? Actually, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Actually, I think the whale shark is one of the only attractions. And so having had no recommendations, we went off on our way to find some food for lunch. Here we are at Ruma Bolatada. Apparently, they serve traditional food here in Gorontolo, so let's check it out. We might struggle to get a seat, guys. Makanan traditional Asli Gorontalo? Biru Siram. Biru Siram. Biru Siram. Okay. Okay. So I ordered two dishes, Milu Siram and Mi Chakalang. Mi Chakalang. Mi Chakalang. Yeah. Paling anak apa? Ini. All right, guys, we're just about to eat, and there's literally a cow outside. I mean, that's how good the food is. Milu Saram is served hot with shredded coconut, basil leaves, shredded skipjack tuna, and shrimp. Very hot. The closest dish, which reminds me of this, Boba Manado. Boba Manado is actually a famous dish from North Sulawesi, next door to Gorontalo, the province that Boba Manado is from. Mmm, it's a nine out of ten. My favourite part about the dish is the lemongrass inak. So next up we have mi chekalang, which is a popular noodle dish from Gorontalo. So first things first, I can see noodles, I can see some skipjack tuna, which is locally known as chakalang, and there's also some vegetables as well as some tofu. Oops! <laughs> Ayomakan mi chakalang. It's, it's honestly delicious. I love these type of noodles. They're a bit thicker than normal. They're yellow. And like it also feels healthy because there's a lot of vegetables inside. And that, that delicious. And so after trying the delicious food, I went to visit a monument of Nani Waterbone, a Goran Taloan national hero. This man here is actually Nani Waterbone. He was a man who led Goran Talo to independence in 1942. Three years before Sakano and Hatta made in Indonesia independent in 1945. And because of his service, he was declared a national hero of Indonesia, which is the highest level title awarded in Indonesia. And finally, to end the trip, we were invited by Ellie's friend to have dinner at his house. Hi right, guys, so that's the end of the video. So we're finishing our adventures here in Garantano with some delicious ikan the car cooked by Mr. Aldi. <laughs> and so that was our trip to Gorontalo. Honestly, it was one of the best trips I've ever had. What started off with a really silly idea of throwing a marker pen at a map ended in an incredible time.